What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, you join me inside Calvin's Honda Civic Type R. Not gonna lie to you, since collecting my M4, this car has been fully neglected. It's just been sitting there like some homeless car. And we're actually on our way to Luton now to go see Calvin. We're gonna swap the car for possibly a GTI uh, Mark 7 Golf performance pack. You know what, people just stare at me and they just throw me off guard. I'm like, why are you staring at me, bro? Like, I'm still looking at me. Anyway, off topic for a second. It's actually my birthday today. Popped up last second. Obviously, I was aware a few weeks ago. Everyone's like, yo, it's your birthday soon. I think yesterday, day before, I just remembered, like, and I'd already booked into film. Emma's taking a day off. She hasn't even told me, so she's at mine now, whilst I'm out about to go film two videos. So, yeah, you can see me awkwardly looking at people right now. So, yeah, I'm sitting here parked up in the shell with my hot chocolate. I'm about to hit the M40. So, as always, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> Calvin, you're on? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You are, right, yeah? You ready? Yeah, mate, I'm ready. Look, look, it's like camera car, isn't it? Oh, jeez, behind the scenes. Look, Calvin's look, equipment. Behind the scenes. Any man. videographers watching right now? This is where the this magic's is, created yeah, on. This is where it all happens. Look. Getting a bit regular now, isn't it? Mm. Last time, basically, I featured you in my video. Everyone was saying, Ricky, stop acting like you're a roadman. Apparently, it's a personal joke amongst the car community that Ricky's the roadman car vlogger. I, I think that's what you are. The roadman of car you no, this is racism oh, this is, this this is, is racism. racism well listen we've had this racism track before <laughs> i've got a claim to black fame as well we're not going down that route you're not a road man back on topic what are we actually doing so i'm in the civic do you know what we need to start. you love the heat in i hate all the, the heat what's man? going on it's boiling it <laughs> <laughs> So what are we actually what doing? Are we, doing? Are we gonna... Well, everyone was commenting saying they want to see the CLS, didn't they? We'll do that as a separate feature, I think. Have you told them what car you're picking up yet? Yeah. Possibly. Mark 7 GTI. Mark 7 GTI performance, yeah? And it's actually a manual as well, isn't it? It's a manual, yeah. yeah. It's, it's in red as well, which is... I Best colour on Earth. Oh, I think it's a wicked colour. Best colour color on planet Earth. Mm. Let's go pick it up, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Ricky, do you like the GTI then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, man. Nice and subtle, isn't it? Not I mean, as aggressive we'll looking as the Golf R, right? Yeah, it ain't as aggressive looking. I think they're so good looking, though, don't you? What yeah, do you, what I, are you yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect daily driver. Because yeah. they're not as powerful as the Golf R, are they? They're like... Nah, they're quite a lot less powerful, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Like, I think about 70 horsepower yeah, difference. Yeah, This is obviously performance pack, I think you say Yeah, so performance more. pack's got, I think, 10 brake horsepower more than yeah. the normal GCI. It's going to be interesting to see how they compare, because we know that the Honda Civic is a bit brutal, isn't it? This is a like, this is almost like a racing car for the road. So yeah. getting into this. Obviously it's got a lot less power than the Type yeah. R. That's 300 brake, but. This is probably going to be more fuel efficient as well. It's going to obviously probably, be a yeah. more yeah, comfortable yeah. daily. Yeah. And what have they got those old school sort of, what they're from the Mark 1s, aren't they? They yeah. come from the Mark 1 Golf. Yeah, the Mark 1 GTIs. And, and it's also got the um, gear stick as well. It's got so. a golf ball, isn't it? And so what I'm going to need from you is a little lift to go and pick up another car. Uh, so I'm filming a little vlog on my channel, but I need a lift from you if that's all right. Yeah, so yeah, that's, pick up this that's, car. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah? So you're going to actually collect... Oh, no, I don't want to show that. <laughs> <laughs> We've yeah, also sorry. got the CLS here. Uh, we're actually going to quickly shoot a feature on this. So if this vlog kind of just ends on a weird one uh, it's because we're actually filming this beast so yeah i'll probably continue my video uh, when i get back home obviously i already mentioned it's my birthday so i may, may even be with emma we may even go eat some food and stuff so yeah Calvin, um, it's about half five now, I've parked up in the Mark 7 GTI, really enjoying driving, especially it being a six speed manual, be really interested to hear what you guys uh, would like to see me do with this car, obviously I'm going to do like a review or like a first impression video, and before I forget as well, I think my lens has had it, the last few videos, uh, the focus has been weird and uh, there's almost condensation building up on the inside of the lens, so looks like I may have to invest in maybe the new G Master, the 24 to 70 mm lens. It's a lens I've been after for quite a while, it's pretty expensive. But yeah, we are parked up just outside of Volvo Automotive at the moment. Uh, Imran's actually in Italy getting some exhaust development done on his new F90 M5. Uh, but he's actually said, why don't I pop in and maybe see what his workers are up to. So we're going to go see what Aston's up to. We send Aston. Good. Good, good. Yeah, all right, man. I think. Yeah, I'm all right, man. Yeah, you good. know what? This camera 
is not looking good right now. We you saying another Imran? No, he's, he's, not, he's in. Uh, yeah, he's at Super Sprint, man. Right. Yeah, he's getting. Um, they're doing their development exhaust on the F90. Okay. So, so you're yeah. holding up the fort, yeah? Nah, Paul's in charge and Imran's. Paul's away. in charge, yeah. Paul's in Where's charge. Paul? Paul's upstairs. He's in the office. I think he's okay. on the phone. Yeah. So um, how's everything? Been alright? Yeah, it's good, man. Yeah, we're just um, doing a dyno and a run on the mini. Yeah. Um, got a remap on that stage one. Okay. Uh, M2 is just keeping in the dry. Yeah. What's the plan with this? Uh, I'm not sure where Imran wants to go with it next. I think he's looking at hybrid turbos next. All oh, right. Uh, or turbo. So okay. we'll run that, see where we get. Run what happened to the noise? You said you've been boxing and that. Yeah, yeah. I've got busted and sparring on Monday, man. Yeah. So yeah, I've been training since what May now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got a fight on Saturday, so. Jeez. Oh, I'm on that Rocky Bar bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I'm to bust my nose up a little bit more. That's for you anyway. It's your birthday, isn't it? Yeah, it's my yeah, birthday, birthday today, man. Yeah, yeah. I've just been filming. I need Twenty-one props, again, like. yeah. <laughs> 31 bro. 31 right. Yeah man, that nose is looking. Yeah, yeah nice. Boy. Busted look. It's got, got a zoom. It's got a close up on that, boy. These are two, two of the magnesium wheels. Yeah. Um, these ones are the emblems. But yeah, they're real, they're real light. You know, sit on the frame of them, you can't be seeing them. And you've got some more over here as uh, well. Yeah, and again with the 660s. Um, cryptos again, either ones. Uh, either side. Those are the ones that we've got on the M3 on Viper. Right. Um, I've got close up in you right now, that, that super 4K shot. Look, man, don't be doing no 4K, otherwise you're going to see all the grey and shit. <laughs> it's too much. What are you saying, though? Well, you know, just ready for training again, man. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's I'm gone. gone. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, see ya. We're going to go eat some food now. Obviously, I've made it home. Have a look at my presents. Don't mind the state of my bed right now. We've got Ralph tops, white and black trainers. My mum bought me. And we've got me these Ralphs. Pumped into an LLS sign. Follow me since 6k. This is. So Emma, you been alright? Yeah. You're not, you're not featured on the channel for... Jeez, it's been a while now, right? It's you. No, that's not me. Yeah, you don't want me in the videos. No, that's not true. <laughs> what do you say when you open your presents? Like, why do you waste your money, innit? Why'd you get me a present? Why? <laughs> Why did you get me something? Yeah. Yeah, it's just Save not, your money. It's not a normal reaction. <laughs> but it's not. Yeah, but I'm obviously grateful Who secretly, on? but obviously I don't like to see people waste their money. Yeah, that was a lot less than what I get you normally though. I normally get you a lot more. Yeah. Mm. So we're about to go TGIs. That's Emma's favourite. You that likes TGI's more. Yeah, I like the buffalo chicken wings. I'm gonna get the Bruce Lee burger. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be out for um, probably about two hours to be honest. But yeah, it's the first yeah. time I've forgotten the tag. No, no problem. I'll stand it down for the next two hours for you, so we don't keep ringing you. Yeah. Uh, and then it'll all go back live for you, so it'll all be active again in two hours. This is what I was trying to say about the tag situation. How yeah, are you meant to, to remember to keep yeah, the tag? Yeah, you knew when you got that. Like, you're terrible at remembering things. That's why it was a genuine concern. Like, what am I going to do about this tag situation? But yeah, guys, I left my tag and literally, what, how long has it been? About four minutes? Mm. It's been about four minutes. And um, the Vodafone tracker phoned me straight away. And that wasn't like a setup or anything. I literally just asked her off camera if I could record it. But she said, no, she can't for security reasons. So yeah, it definitely worked, the tracker. Look at the message. Left alert. What is it? Shit shot. They're my new top. It's sparkly. Got my Insta story. Just to clarify, what is it we're ordering? I can't say. So we're ordering two chicken sesame strips. Garlic bread and cheese. And then we're also getting buffalo chicken wings. Anything else? No. <laughs> it's about to get lit. Bare chicken. so many cuts in this video uh, definitely a bit of a random vlog today uh, let me know as well give me some feedback if you want me to do more sort of vloggy style stuff um, but I actually just finished editing the video and um, thought there's not enough content in it uh, it's been about three or four days since collecting this GTI before I forget I just want to say a massive thank you to Calvin as well he's really looking after me at the moment um, obviously we're both scratching each other's back um, but it's been really nice to have a second car there especially after collecting the M4 it's just nice I've never 
had like a two car garage style, you know what I mean? Obviously it's not my car, this car's actually about to go back to Calvin, but um, yeah, I just wanna say a massive thank you to Calvin. Definitely uh, check out his channel. This car's actually for sale and he's not giving me these cars because he's trying to sell them. Calvin sells tons of cars. Um, but yeah, this car is for sale. Uh, all the links will be in the description. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna give you um, a bit of feedback on what it's been like. I have basically been daily driving it ever since collecting it. I've always thought it was a bit of a no brainer to buy uh, a Golf R over the GTI, to be fair. You've seen all of my uh, videos on the Golf R's. This isn't a Golf R comparison, but I've got to say, I really do get this GTI. Not that I've never respected the GTI. I understand there's a lot of heritage and, you know, there's a uh, cult following for it, but, you know, for the sake of a few thousand pounds, you can get a four drive system and an extra 60, 70 bhp from the Golf R and much more aggressive looks. But that is the negative. Uh, in my opinion as of now like because I own the M4 it does that job it gets the attention it's nice it's very very fast and jumping into this GTI it's like without disrespecting it it's a little more laid back when you're driving around traffic it's a bit of a blender and uh, when I say blender I mean people don't break their necks to look at who's driving whereas when you're in a Golf R it's the type opposite everybody wants to know who's driving it it's it gets unwanted attention. It's nice, do you know what I mean? But, like I say, because I've got the M4 and this is like a second car that I'm running, it just makes complete sense. People know that it's a prestige car, it's a nice in car, it's very well built. Even driving it, you know, you've got red stitching on the wheel. Um, you know, these seats, you know, not everybody's gonna be a fan, but I like them. Uh, inside the Golf R's you get like a blue, uh, like sort of LED strip here. In the GTI, it's actually red. Um, it's it's a really nice place to be. Sorry if you can hear my tribal in the back as well. But there's another thing I'm loving about this GTI is fuel economy. It's unreal. The needle doesn't move. Like I literally put twenty pound in from empty twice now, and it's given me one bar under half a tank. And I'm not lying. I'm not talking about a bar over a quarter. I'm talking one little notch below half a tank. I don't know if it's got a small fuel tank, but I'm telling you that this car is very fuel efficient. And another important factor is it doesn't encourage you to drive fast. I'm not sure if I'm just being humbled with so many cars I'm driving nowadays because I've turned into a bit of an old man. I know on camera, I try to like entertain you guys, but off camera, I'm just cruising around. In this car anyway, it's not tempting, to, it's not tempting me to drive fast. And whilst we're on that subject, I've mentioned to you guys before that I used to own an E92 335D, which had a DMS Automotive Stage 1 remap, which it just tempted me to want to drive it fast all the time. I bought it because it was a fast, economical car, but I'm not man enough to hold back putting my foot down in a car that's teasing me to want to drive it fast. This car, like I said, I know there's different driving modes, and uh, you probably can sharpen everything up, but I've not been driving this car with that mindset, yeah? All I can say is that it feels very comfortable, very laid back, um, and yeah, uh, fuel is an absolute joke. It's, it's completely different to the Golf R. The Golf R is like dial to 10. Uh, as soon as you like apply a bit of throttle, it just, like I said, it encourages you to wanna drive fast. It's kind of weird because I haven't been driving this round like, yeah, I'm in a Golf GTI. Like when you drive around in the Golf R or even the M4, you feel like you're driving something really special. And that's not, like I said, to put this car down, yeah? It could be just because I've collected a brand new M4 and, you know, um, I'm kind of spoiled with cars at the moment as well. I've been driving so many different cars on the channel, but this car only has 227 bhp, right? But I promise you, it's so fast. Like, it's obviously got the performance pack, which brings the power up by 10 bhp. Uh, you also get an electronic limited slip differential. It's also a six speed manual as well. So there's so much more connection, way more driver involvement. Naturally, you just have more control over the car, basically. Um, so yeah, you get an electronic limited slip diff. Uh, you get bigger brakes, so they're up from 312 mil to 340 mil discs. They're also vented. Uh, you also get vented rear discs, which the stock GTI doesn't get. And this is all for 980 pound. I may have missed uh, a thing or two, but it's a bit of a no-brainer. I've not driven a stock GTI, but I know through like the compact M4s and stock M4s that there's quite a big difference when you add all those small things together. Without being bad to the GTI though, it's not like an event driving it. When you drive the Golf R, like I said to you already, uh, it demands attention, whereas this car doesn't. But that is what I'm liking about this car. It's making it a perfect 
second car kind of garage like when you drive the a45 the s3s the you know like the rs3s it's a real event driving it you know and it's not to say that this car isn't nice but i was messing about with an a45 the other day and on the roll there's nothing in most of these cars in the real world it really does come down to driver you can have an extra 200 bhp like this a45 the other day but i was just yeah like you couldn't touch this car to be fair guys i think i'm gonna end the video there uh, like i've already said i am absolutely loving this car uh, i'm loving it so much so i've already asked calvin to donate it to the channel please calvin just you can do it bro just donate the car to the channel man like um but no, seriously, like, I love this car, man. It's the perfect second car without fail. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thanks to you guys as well. So much content to come. I've got about 10 videos in stock right now. I've actually just hired a, an editor. You would have seen the Fiat video. I didn't touch that video. That was fully edited by somebody else. It's the first time somebody's ever edited a full video for me. So um, I'm an OCD guy. Like and it's very very difficult to have somebody edit a full video so let me know you know because um, this is a way for me to get more content on the channel you know the aim for 2019 is to just get more videos up i want daily videos i want to compete with shmi man do you know what i mean like i want to be giving you lot daily videos guys as always i hope you did enjoy the video uh, please like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon thank you for watching bye